In the previous assignment, we coded twitter.py. In this assignment, we're going to test that using test twitter.py. So this is our previous twitter.py that we submitted. So we have our vowels here. We get input from the user. And then we check to see if there's a vowel in the sentence that the user inputted. And then if there is, we replace that vowel with a blank space. And then we print it to the screen. So for this assignment, we have to create a new directory. So it's make dir let's test Twitter. So in that we're going to code a copy of twitter.py and we're going to create a new file called test twitter.py. So code test twitter so I've closed my previous twitter.py. So now we have one folder and it's called test twitter. And in that we have two files which are currently blank as twitter.py and test twitter.py. So in twitter.py, I'm gonna copy in my previous code. And we're gonna change this now to functions. So first of all, I'm gonna create a function called main, so find main. And for the moment, I'm just going to pass. So our Simon told us we need to create a new function called shorten. So I'm going to find shorten. And I'm going to give it the argument sentence. And now I'm going to indent everything using control and the right square bracket. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to put it up here. So when we call main, we're going to call the user input. So let's move this up. Okay, what we need to do here is we need to return sentence instead of printing it, return it. And up here, we need to call our function now, which is shorten sentence. And we're going to print that. And obviously, we need to indent that. Okay, now we have our main function, which is calling our user input. We're then calling our shorten function. That's doing the work down here, the exact same as our original twitter.py, except it's going to return sentence instead of print it. So it returns it back up here, and that prints it. So in order to make this work, we have to give this bit of code here. So if name is equal to main, then call main. Okay, now that's done. Let's look at our test twitter. So the first thing we need to do here is import. So we're importing from Twitter, import, shorten. So what we're doing is we're importing this function here from this file, Twitter. So it's important that these two files are in the same folder. So now that we have that done, we'll define our main, our main function. I'm gonna pass. I'm also defining a new function called test Twitter. And for that, I'm again going to pass. I'm going to come back to these in a minute. And then I'm going to paste in if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore, then call main. Okay. To our functions. So main function, all this is going to do is it's going to call test Twitter. That's that done. So we're going to use a sort keyword. You've seen this in the video. So we're sorting the shorten our function when it takes the text, the IT shed, for instance, and it's run correctly. It's going to remove all the vowels, the A E I O U S. So when that is done, so we're sorting that when that's run through here and returned into our test function that the output will be dht shd okay so 
the E and the I will be removed and the E here will be removed. So I'm going to do this for a few different things here. So I'm going to do it for capitals. So the IT shed and this should be the result of it. DHT SHD. And now what about mixed? So So when that is mixed capitals and mixed lowercase, it should result in, and then we're going to do for numbers. So numbers shouldn't be changed because there's no vowels in numbers. So when the numbers are asserted, that one, two, three, four, five, six, then it should be unchanged. It should come out as one, two, three, four, five, six. And also the last one we're going to do for symbols. So when, for instance, boom, 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 are asserted, that's not going to work. Then it should remain unchanged. I'll copy that. Place in there. So again, we're asserting that when our program is run here, and this text is run through our program that went on correctly, the vowels are removed. So when that's imported into our test Twitter, then this should be the result of it. And if it's all caps, then that should be the result. And if it's mixed, then from what I see here, that should be the result. And numbers should remain unchanged because there's no vowels in it, so nothing will be removed. So if you, if you give that input, then you can get that output. And the same here with the uh, symbols. Okay, let's try testing this with PyTest. Now we're using the keyword PyTest here to test it. And we see here that we've passed. So let's go back to our Twitter.py and just let's remove the E, for instance, just to break it. So if I go back here and I run our test again, we see now that we have failed it because here the E is not in it, so it's not taking the E out. So when it's run through the program, then the E should still be here because it's not been removed from the program. So that just shows that it's it's working. So if I put the E back in again, and um, run it again, now we've passed it the second time. Okay, now the ultimate check is Checking with CS50 to see if everything is working okay. And there we have it, all greens. So thanks for joining me in this video, and I hope to see you another one shortly.